My name is Ingus, and I'm on a mission to reach a 10 billion GP bank. So far, I've completed three bosses, and altogether, I've amassed a total of 6.7 bill. We're inching closer and closer to our goal, but the road ahead will only become more treacherous as time goes on. Welcome to the sixth circle of RuneScape Hell. Heresy. Introducing Zora, RuneScape's deadliest snake. There is nowhere to hide in this poisonous wasteland. Good luck, my friend. Now, here's what you need to know about Zora if you've never killed him. He has three different flavors. When he's green and red, I blast him with magic. And yes, that's right, I bought the best magic weapon in the game last episode. Definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. So hopefully, this part will be pretty fun. However, sometimes he turns blue, and in that case, I switch to ranged and fire my Tebow at him. There's a few other mechanics like snakelings spawning and these clouds of gas appearing. Zolra also moves around the arena, making this one of the most engaging bosses in Rune. Escape. But that's not to say that this won't be a big challenge, because while it is a fun boss, the average amount of clicks per kill is much higher than many other bosses. So grinding this for long periods of time will be tough. I'm planning to camp here until I complete the collection log, and if you've seen my videos before, then you know that Zora and I have a bit of a history. It was one fine day in the summer of 2018 when I received my Tanzanite Mutagen. Extremely rare, untradeable drop. You can turn your serpentine helmet blue. Yeah, very cool. Definitely something you want to be careful with. <laughs> so I took it to the wilderness. Oh shit, I scold. Um, that's not supposed to happen. No! There goes my tans. Since that day, I have kept this empty bank slot as a promise that I would one day go back and get my Tanzanite mutagen. How much money will I make and how many kills will it take to cross the swamp of heresy? Well, look who just rolled into the swamp. He looks like an easy target. Let's see if he connects to this public Wi-Fi that is totally secure. Wink, wink. Oh, neat. They have free Wi-Fi. Perfect. Now I can see everything. Aw, oh, shucks. Just a bunch of Neve picks. And his bank only has 10 million GP. Sad. Wait a sec. Who's that? That guy looks mega rich and handsome. LMAO, he fell for it. Wait, no. He's using a VPN to hide his identity. Curse you, NordVPN. When it comes to online protection, NordVPN is the king. Not only do they keep your online data safe with top tier encryption, but you can also use them to watch region lock content that might not be available in your area. Pretty sweet. And with Nord, you can secure up to six devices on a single account, keeping you safe wherever you go. Link in the description for four months free. There's plenty of other features such as threat protection, which shields you from malware trackers and ads, as well as dark web monitor, which notifies you if someone leaks your credentials. I'm a big fan of Nord because they are the fastest this VPN on the planet and they are privacy oriented. They don't track or share what you do online. With 24 seven customer support to help you whenever you need it and a 30 day money back guarantee, now is the perfect time to try NordVPN. Get a whopping four months free by going to nordvpn.com slash ingusvpn. Big thank you to Nord for supporting the channel and sponsoring this Zolra grind. Okay, so I am going to be selling the Void Waker because I do not need it for Zora. What I do need is a pair of Zerai Van Braces yet again. I feel like I'm just constantly <laughs> juggling these two items. And then I have a special purchase, which I learned from Rice Cup's video, the Accursed Scepter, because essentially it acts as a miniature dragon warhammer, but for magic. And that's really good in combination with the Tumekan Shadow. I might try some different variations, but this is the gear I'm planning to use for this video. All right, so just a little review of the collection log before we get started. As you can tell, I'm pretty unlucky at this boss. Well, I already forgot my heart, so we're off to a great start. There's so many new switches I'm not accustomed to. And there is the very first kill, 1629. Oh man, I'm pumped. Let's do this. Hey, there we go, Zora Speed Chaser. We are only gonna get faster from here. Come on, risk it, risk it. Promise you I'm not gonna die that much in this episode. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I'm not really supposed to stand there. At least the death isn't 500K like at Cal Fight Queen. That was just so terrible. 50 seconds, holy cow. Look at that, that was another 50 second kill. This is insane. 
this setup is crazy. I managed to get 132 kills on the first day, ending off the night with a personal best of 47 seconds. Oh, I didn't even see. I just got a 47 second PB. The next day, I did a quick resupply on some potions and headed back to the swamp for round two. All right, 1800 kills. Now I am actually really enjoying this. Nice change of pace from the last three bosses, that's for sure. Hey, look at this, Filthy Santa knows what's up. Why, thank you, Western Elite Diary. You get one free resurrection per day at Zoro, which is very useful for hardcore Iron Man as well as me. Hey, 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 that's what we like to see. The Tanzanite Fang, a nice new collection log slot. We are off to the races. That is a one in 125. If my account was an Iron Man, I would probably quit the game. But since I'm on main, that's a 3.9 mil drop. I'll take it. So it looks like all we're missing now is the Magic Fang, the Jar of Swamp, and of course, the Pet Snake Fang. We'll see what happens. Ah! 46 seconds. I am the speed. All right, rise and shine. What do you got for me today, Zora? Come on. I am barely noticing the time passing by because I'm having so much fun. Big milestone coming up. 2,000 kills. We've already done a sizable amount. My accursed scepter has run out of charges. This is such an interesting item because it doesn't use runes or anything to cast the spell. It just literally uses the revenant ether from the rev caves in the wilderness. FYI, Zora has a pretty decent drop rate for elite clues, so I will be continuing the master clue grind during this video as well. Another 50 kills going down, down like, like butter. butter. That is most definitely a bot. <laughs> Wow. He's literally 91 magic, 92 combat. That's, that's crazy. 4,000 Zolra kills. He's got more than me. I was wondering where we're going to get a second drop. There is a Serpentine Visage. Beautiful. We already have one of these. Actually, I think I have two on the log. That is going to be the third one. Woohoo. 2100. Will you do something for me? And that's my second drop of nature. In, so I don't like that. I'm sure if I go dry, I'll like... Congratulations on the dragon stone. <laughs> oh, bro. Put that in the sewer. Day number four. You guys know that nothing ever happens on day four, but I'm showing up either way. <laughs> oh, yes. The magic fang. That's the one we needed. There we go. Only took 2,000 kills. Okay, we got the common drops out of the way. We're just missing all the rare ones. <laughs> of course. 2,200 kills for the first one and seven kills for the second. Look, I hope I've established that Zora is by far one of the best bosses in RuneScape. Engaging fight, little morsel of fruit every so often, and yet a few very rare drops to keep you going for a while. Just be warned, there are a few people that have been here for way too long. How dare you sacrifice yourself before my son? He was the chosen one, you motherfucker. But somewhere deep down in those murky waters lies the pet snakeling, the jar of swamp, and the ultra rare Tanzanite mutagen. The real hunt begins now. Okay, well, duplicate magic fang. God, I'm so dry there. That's 2,300 kills. Nice, another Serp Visage. These things love me. That makes five uniques in total so far. Almost officially one week into camping Zora. I don't know, guys. Today could be the day. That is a strange one. I got the real Law Rune drop, and then I also got the rare drop table Law Rune drop. Hmm. Hey, 44 seconds. I knew that was possible. Someone in my clan had that. Damn danger, Damn danger noodle. noodle. Another 100 kills down. Oh, sandwich lady. Ah, uh, chocolate bar. Officially one week into Zora. Maybe a little something for day eight. Oh, that was a fast one. 44 again. Surely we can get it lower than that. Hey, <laughs> another one. Dude, these things, I, I don't know what it is. I am just a uh, Serpentine Visage magnet. I swear, I only get drops when I play at night. If I play during the day, it's like I'd never get anything. Made it to 2,500 kills. We still got a long ways to go, potentially. That's the first death in a while. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gonna make uh, your wolf jump over a log. Whoa. And have your pig eat your herbs or dig for oh 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 guys 
Uh-oh. It's me! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Woo! I can't... I, I can't believe this. There's no way I got a second one this early. This early. Four years of being told that I was an idiot. There goes my tans. That hurts. <laughs> well, it sucks about the mute out, but uh, I'm confident that I'll get another one. Finally, after all this time, the Tanzanite helmet is back. Pull over, I repeat, pull over. I'm gonna need all of you to step out of the vehicle right now, unless you're subscribed. Three mutagens in 2500 KC. Can you believe it? Call me the snake charmer, if you will. However, the drop rate for the pet is one in 4,000. The jar is one in 3,000. I haven't even done 1,000 kills since I started. Yeah, construction honestly is pretty chill. Oh my God, yes! No. Yes! <laughs> All right. Woo! No I mean, way. What, what's, Sorry. What's no that? way. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is, boys, right here, is that this is a rarer pet. This is one in 4K. It's not a one in three. It's a one in 4K, bro. Yes. That's right. Only 10 kills later, I got the snakeling pet. Two of the rarest drops at Zora in one day. I don't want to talk. I'm so happy. I don't want to talk. That's wild. Keep going, clams. You'll get some. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Clay. He's at Zora too. It's okay. I'm gonna be here, crying. What's your PB? I just want. I want to do one thing better than English, please, God. <laughs> It's 44. Damn it! <laughs> A cool thing to note here about this pet, you can change the colors. Look at this. So cool. All right, welcome to the family, Mr. Snakey Boy. Hopefully we start seeing some more drops because these runes are not cheap. Like certain levels, but I mean, that's not necessarily like skilling. Honestly, I don't think I've Ooh. ever really played a skilling game before. Ooh, congrats. Thanks. I already have him. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Today's the day I just, just steamroll Zora into a pulp. Dude, we need a lizard boss. Dude, if I had a mutagen for every one of these, I would have a lot of mutagens. <laughs> Ingus is here. Insane. Love the new vid, man. I've been nerd watching Okay, just finished my 10th master casket. I don't really have the patience to do all of these to save this until the end of the video. That would be so boring. I need a little juice. I need a little motivation. So let's get started. All right, well, I can... I guess we're just gonna do the mimic. Nice. Still got nine more. Okay, so looks like it's a mimic. Cool. Okay. 16 seconds. That's a new one. Mimic. Samurai shirt, baby. I will uh, put that in my house later. Two more to go. Oh, torture. Yes, dude. Three million. And a samurai boots. I think I already have that one. Okay, so we made off with a little bit of money. We actually just completed the whole samurai set. I didn't realize that was the last piece we needed. So that's pretty neat. I just need the hood of darkness for the darkness. And yeah, this isn't a gold mine by any means. I don't really care about clue scrolls, but passively working on it. Oops. 
Just got a six hour log, boys. We've been putting in some time today. I didn't even notice it. I have optimized the way that I gear. First thing we do, we go to the layout, pull out all our equipment, put that on. And then I have it set up so that my entire inventory is perfect if I withdraw exactly like this. So I get those, then I get my food, my potions, and the last items we need at the bottom. Well, I think I went a little too fast because I forgot my cape, but 30 million magic XP. This technique is called pillar stalling. What it does, is basically slow down Zolra's attacks to match your five tick weapon since it attacks at a four tick. You can get one or two extra hits in per phase, so it's pretty nice. Oh. Mm -mm. That's just funny. Imagine the chances, right? Imagine getting a second pet. This is uh, kind of silly, isn't it? This is not right. This is not cool. Another one. Yeah, so not everyone has realized this in the clan chat, so there's a lot of commotion going on. I guess that's our first duplicate pet of the entire series. Zora, Zora loves me, okay? Three mirror gems, two pets. <laughs> Zora loves me. After two weeks, my kill count had climbed to 3,000. As you might have guessed, I was feeling pretty optimistic at this point. Welcome to stage two. Hey, there we go. Uh, finally, another Fang. That is my second Tanzanite Fang. Oh, that drop just does not get old, does it? Oh, dude, I picked it up so fast I didn't even get to see it. Look at that. Hmm. A, a, number three. Number three. What a nice night today. What a nice night. Okay, I'm curious to see how many kills I can get per hour if I'm just going all out max efficiency. Okay, well, that is certainly going to skew the results. My bad. Oh, look at him. Is he gonna help me? <gasps> yes, he's giving me a vengeance. Oh, what a helpful little snake. Oof, that is rough. That's a rough one. Adam and Javelins don't like to see those. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. Uh, I'm gonna bank the range gear and I'm gonna try scepter and shadow only, magic only. In case you're curious, yes, you can in fact use a shadow here without any switches. I get about the same kills as I would if I was using the Tebow only, maybe a little bit faster for the exact same effort. So if you're thinking about doing a rebuild, yeah, it works pretty well. Also, this is a high kill per inventory trip, so make sure you're utilizing this deposit chest, which by the way, deposit chest right here. I didn't even know this existed. Well, looky here. That is uh, number six, I believe, the sixth Serpentine Visage. It seems to be the one that I'm getting the most. Yeah, eight. I have eight. 3,300. I got a decent amount of KC done today. I will see you tomorrow. These things love me. I love you, Zora. Can I just express my appreciation for this boss and having a good time at a boss? And that, my friends, is another magic thing. I am just getting fed these all day. Okay, I just spent a nice amount of time doing this, but I made a tab finally. Got 208 mil total in loot. Anyways, more anglerfish. Hey, you know, a magic thing early in the day so i wanted to try out using my alt here to help me but um there's a problem i need to complete regicide before i could use this teleport i haven't completed the underground pass or 56 agility so now i'm gonna need to <laughs> probably not worth it for this boss specifically only but in the long term it might come up useful somewhere who knows let's get started you gotta figure out how to get into that flow state and not do what I just did and pickpocket there twice. There we go. Underground pass is complete. Didn't take as long as I expected, but now it's done. Forgot that after the quest, you still have to go back through for regicide. So here I am. Regicide complete. Okay, it took about half my day to do that, but now we are ready to roll. Give myself a little vengeance and uh, spec transfer, heal other. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. 
Okay, the truth is, most people probably would have stopped after they got the pet snake wing. After all, a jar is just the jar. If you want the jar, you can just buy it on the Grand Exchange. But if I get the drop, then the entry in the collection log turns green. I'm not stopping until I can sniff that jar with my own nostrils. Hey, yo, Ted's a knife, hey. Would you speak of the nautics? <laughs> that is uh, the first one for this video. Another Tanzanite Fang. Day 25, that is another Tanzanite Fang. Still no My name is Almighty Nut. I'm taking on the dragon for the Fermatic Trials quest. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is my fourth mutagen. That is my fourth mutagen. Does the jar even exist? Or do I just get mutagens? Contrary to orthodox religious doctrine. But a little known fact is that the original English translation of heresy meant choice or thing chosen. In other words, carving one's own path despite what others think. Yes! What? Yes! What? Woo! Jar no, Swamp, no. boys! Hey, hey, let's go! Jar Swamp, baby! Oh. Yo! Yo, we're good luck! I was here. What a good day. Hi, Mom! Guess my kill count right now for this jar. Oh my god, that is, like, that's literally the meme. There it is, that's the dream. What a day! What a day! Explosion what a cube. Day. That, my friends, is how I completed the collection log for Zora. Two pets and four mutagens. It is going to be extremely hard to beat my luck here. And check out this loot tab. Oh my, that is juicy. We are walking away with 23 uniques plus an uncut onyx. Okay, so I've already ran the calcs. I think I'll make more if I just break these down. Sadly, the price of all these items went down a bunch like 25% since I started. So kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. The fat stack of Zora scales has sold. I think I spent roughly 40 mil on supplies and charges. So we have profited over 200 mil from this grind. Lovacane, hey, that's a new one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> seven, five mil, what? Wait, why is that worth so much? Oh, nice. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. Today, we have conquered the snake boss. I hope you enjoyed this one. Oh, yeah, and bank is at six point. It went down. <laughs> I made 200 mil that went down. <laughs> <laughs>